Hello, I'm Brandon Funkhauser with Sloan Implement, and today I'm going to go over the equipment button here on the map page on the My John Deere Operations Center. So if you go up here to the top left corner, you can see a picture of a tractor, and you put your cursor to say equipment. I'm going to click it, and it now shows me the list of equipment that I have here in this uh, profile. Uh, so all these pieces of equipment were already added, whether they were built in this profile or transferred from a dealer. Uh, so this is a list that's showing me a combine. That we have two of them. Uh, planters are two. Sprayers are two. Tractors are three. So I'm going to look at the tractors. Just hit the button here. And then you're going to see a list of all the tractors that are in this profile. Um, if you want to search a tractor or a combine, you can click up here. And I can just type in S780. I know there's one in here. And there it is. It's showing me there's two. So from here... Uh, I also want to show you that you can just backspace off and all your equipment will come right back. Now over here on this button here, this is where you would check to if you wanted to remove one of these from this list. So let's say we no longer are going to have one of these S780s. I could check mark this one and I could hit trash can and delete the equipment. Now it's going to give you one last chance to make sure you really want to delete it. That you didn't accidentally bump the trash can button. But we're going to cancel because I do not want to delete this. And you're going to notice if I do the same thing on this upper S780 here, it won't let me delete it. The reason being is that machine actually has a JD Link MTG terminal in it, which will then mean that that item doesn't need to be deleted. It needs to be transferred over to your, your dealer or whoever purchased it. So you're probably going to want to touch base with your local dealer to help get that accomplished. So from here, I'm going to show you there is a plus symbol. And we're going to attempt to add a piece of equipment to this list. So if you hit the plus symbol here, uh, the first way you can add a piece of equipment is you can type in the serial number if it's a John Deere piece. Most likely, once you type in and hit search, it will pop it up and fill in all these blanks for you. Um, if it's a newer piece, uh, so an R-series tractor or an S-series combine, for say, that's already going to have one of those JD-Link terminals in it, if you search it, it says item already being used and it won't let you add it that and you need to touch base with your local dealer or um, the dealership where that tractor may have come from or who has possession of it and help have them help you get it transferred over to your account because that has a terminal in it so it needs to be transferred over just like we would have transferred one out if we were trying to delete it so for this sake we're going to go to an older tractor and we're going to type in the name you can type in ripper for equipment or tractor whatever you want for the name that is more or less what it is uh, for this case, I'm going to type in uh, 8520 uh, tractor. So I'm going to choose it here because I've only typed it in before. You could just name a tractor if you want to. Uh, for make, you're going to click here and you're going to choose what it is. This is a John Deere. But if you wanted to choose a different brand, if it was, if we were putting in a drag tractor for a, an alternate company, then we could actually search the list here and try and find it. So the next thing will be type. Do you want to, is it a machine or an implement? And it wants to know. So it won't let us choose machine because it's already chosen it for you. But if it were an implement, you could just check here. It will automatically default to the machine. So I'm going to click here on the list. Um, it wants to know what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and type in tractor. And it popped it right up. Now model. If it's uh, an oddball piece or a different brand, you might have to type it in manually. Or if it's something from Deer or uh, you know, one of the top big companies, search the model list. It's probably there. Uh, so for this case, we're going to type in 8520. There it is. And it even has an option for a track tractor. So once I've done that, it even shows me what color I want it to be. I want it to be green and yellow. Or if it's a different, color, different brand, I could change the color listing. So I'm going to hit Add. And it says the equipment has now been added. So at this point, I can hit OK and it will be in my list, or I can click Modify Offsets. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Modify Offsets. So from this point, I can say I want to edit this list, and here I can type what is. So what is my primary usage? So I'm going to say this is primarily my um, you know, tilt extractor. So maybe it's always a draw bar. Or it's my rear pivot two points, always on my planner. So I can choose what type I usually use it on. So for the non-steering axle, that would be determined, you know, whether or not it's a tractor, uh, front wheel assist, a four wheel drive, 
or a track tractor. So in this case, we have a front wheel assist, so our non-steer axle will be the rear. In the GPS location, if it's offset or is in the center. In this case, it's also in the center. So for the rest of this, we're just you're just going to do your measurements of your equipment and go ahead and pre-enter them. So this has a lateral offsets from left to right. We already said the GPS from the center, so we do not have any offsets left or right. So this would be an inline offset from the non-steering axle to the center of the globe. So we'd go out there and measure from that center axle to the globe. Um, just for fun here, we're going to type in like 67.0 and pay attention that it is in inches, not feet. Some things will be in feet, especially when you get to the adding of implements, but on machines it's usually in inches. And then a connection offset, you also are going to type this in, so we're going to just say this one's 68 inches. You can also type in a GPS height from the ground for ballpark. You usually don't need to. This is more for Surface Water Pro uh, and other op applications. So you normally don't have to, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to. Then you hit save. And then you go back to general here. You see your name, your list, and everything you had. You can also re-edit the name if you want. The model and the make will stay the same. But if I hit edit, I could change the name. Well, we don't need to, so hit save. And then I'm going to hit X. And now, if we look down here in our tractor list, it now went to 4. So there's our tractor, our 8520 tractor. And that's, uh, that's just a quick go over here of the equipment list, how to uh, delete them, how to search them, um, as well as um, you know how to make or create one and add it to the list and add its measurements. Thanks for watching.